Hi guys, it's Mrs. Heath. I'm here to do read alouds with you. And I'm going to read aloud a story you might have heard on Zoom with me already. This is the same book that I did on Monday. So I'm going to read it to you on recording now. It's called Rabbit's Snow Dance. So here's Rabbit on the front. And I see him holding some things. I'm not sure what those are. I see he has some friends back here. I wonder what Rabbit's Snow Dance looks like. My authors are James and Joseph Brookchuck, and my illustrator is Jeff Newman. Here we go. Title page, Rabbit's Snow Dance. It is called a traditional Iroquois story. So this is kind of like an American Indian story. Thinking about how the rabbit's doing a snow dance. I see him kind of going around in a circle, doing some moves, and he's holding those things in his hand that are on the front cover. Here we go. Long ago, they say, rabbit did not look the way rabbits do today. Back then, rabbit had a very long, beautiful tail. But even though his tail was long, his patience was short. Whenever rabbit wanted something, he would chant, I want it, I want it, I want it right now. So saying his patience is short means he's not good at waiting for things. And when he says, I want it, I want it, I want it right now, he's showing that he does not have good patience. He cannot wait very long, which isn't really a good thing, not being able to wait. Oh, I see some trees and there's rabbit. And here he is, looks like he's stomping. One day rabbit was wishing it would snow. Why? With feet so big they were like snowshoes, Rabbit could hop right on top of the snow and reach much higher into the trees for those tasty leaves and buds. The only problem was that it was summertime, and as everyone knows, it is not supposed to snow in the summer. Rabbit, though, was impatient. I want snow, he said. I want it, I want it, I want it right now. So he is wanting snow in the middle of summer. Interesting. He wants to reach those trees though to get some more food. Rabbit knew a special song to make it snow. In the winter, he would sing that song and dance in a circle playing his drum and it would snow every time. He had never tried it in the summer because he had not, it was not the right season for a snow song, but Rabbit did not want to wait. He ran through the forest to get his drum chanting, I will make it snow a zick up napo. I will make it snow, a zika napo. A zika napo? That word means it will snow foot wrappers, great big flakes of snow. So he's saying, I'm going to make it snow in the summer. He's got some words he's chanting, a zika napo. I wonder if that's an American Indian word that he uses to make it snow. He says it'll snow giant snowflakes. Let's find out if it happens. So when the other animals heard Rabbit singing, some of them got worried. Chipmunk and Squirrel tried to stop him. It's too soon for snow, they said. We haven't finished gathering enough nuts for the winter. But Rabbit ran right past them and kept on chanting, I will make it snow, a zika napo. I will make it snow, a zika napo. So he's chanting, he's trying to make it snow. I wonder if he'll be successful, guys. I'm not sure. Beaver and Turtle looked up from their pond as Rabbit ran by. I haven't finished my dam, Beaver complained. I'm not ready to go to sleep for the winter, Turtle said. But Rabbit ran past them too, still chanting. Other animals heard Rabbit but did not believe him. That will never happen, Moose rumbled. Making it snow in the summer is almost as hard as stopping the sun from coming up, Bear growled. So they're saying, you're never going to make it snow. There's no way. It's summertime. It's almost like you're telling the sun it can't come up, which is pretty impossible, right? Soon, Rabbit Rock reached his home. He took out his drum and began to sing his snow song as he danced in a circle. So this is a drum he has. So he's doing his snow dance and it's a drum. It looks like that must be the, the, um, the thing that he hits the drum with, like a drumstick, and then the round circle is the drum. Here's his chant, ready? E-yo, thump, thump. E-yo, thump, thump. Yo, 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 yo. That's his chant. And he's dancing in a circle, pounding on his drum. So do you think this chant is gonna work to make snow? Snow, fl small flakes of snow 
began to fall from the sky. That made Rabbit happy, but there was not enough snow yet for him to reach the tender buds in the branches above him. A little snow is good, Rabbit said. More snow is better. So he wants it to snow so the p snow piles up high and he can reach up to the trees to reach the food he's looking for. So he's doing the chant again. E yo, thump, thump. E yo, thump, thump. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, yo, yo. Dancing in a circle with his drum. He already made it start snowing. I wonder if it'll keep going. All over the forest, animals saw the snow falling. The ones with big wide feet like lynx and otter and grouse were pleased. They liked the snow and enjoyed playing in it. They even sang along. So all of these friends are the ones that are okay with it. Here they are singing along with him, chanting the song. E yo, thump, thump. E yo, thump, thump. Yo, 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 yo. So they're pretty happy. And look, I see a good amount of snow on the ground already. Animals were not pleased. They were small and the deep snow was now over their heads. Rabbit did not notice their troubles. He just kept on singing. So look, someone like Hedgehog might not like the snow. He's so little and it's going to cover him up. The frog, the spider, they're all going to get covered up by the snow if it keeps snowing. Here's his chant. E yo thump thump e yo thump thump yo 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 and look maybe this is a little squirrel he doesn't look very happy that he's covered in snow they're still chanting though do you think it'll keep snowing might <gasps> whoa Shh. the wind is blowing it looks like it's blizzarding look at all the snow wow now the snow was so deep that it came up to the chests of the bigger animals. They all rushed for shelter. Soon Rabbit was able to reach those tender buds on the trees, but he was not satisfied. If a lot of snow is good, then a lot more snow would be better, he thought. So he kept on singing. All of the animals had to leave behind to, or were left behind to find shelter. But Rabbit was too foolish to stop. He just kept on singing and dancing and playing his drum. So the snow is so deep, everybody's taking cover. They think it's um, really bad weather outside. They're trying to go home and get away from it and get out of the snow and Rabbit keeps chanting. When the snow had gotten so deep that it covered the tops of all but one of the tallest trees, Rabbit realized he was tired and he stopped singing. I think I need to take a nap, he said. He hopped into the top of that one tall tree that still had stuck out above the snow and he fell asleep. So there's literally one tree with one branch out of the snow. Everything else is covered in snow. And here he is on his branch taking a nap now. It makes me wonder, are all the animals under here? All of the trees, all the animals' homes are under the snow. I hope they're okay. Rabbit slept all night. Even when dawn came, he kept on sleeping. Now the summer began, the summer sun began to shine. All of that snow began to melt. It melted down below the tops of the trees. It melted down below the middle of the trees. It melted down below the bushes. It melted down below the grass. So all that snow that came from his dancing melted and melted and melted and melted till it was gone. Well, that's good. At least the summer sun melted all that snow. So nobody was covered up. Soon all the snow was gone. The other animals were happy. They came out again and began to do all the things animals do in the summer. Rabbit, though, was still asleep high, high up on top of the tallest tree. Finally, near the end of the day, he woke up Time to hop around on all my snow, Rabbit said. He had not yet wiped the sleep from his eyes. He didn't see that the snow was gone. So when he stepped from the top of the tree, he got a big surprise. Because remember, he's at the top of the tallest tree and there's no snow anymore. So the snow melted and he's way up high now. And he says, Aye! and he fell the tallest tree so he fell far rabbit fell and as he fell that long tail of his caught on one 
branch after another, each time a little bit of his tail was pulled off. Finally, kaboom, Rabbit hit the ground. His tail felt funny. He turned back to check it and saw that almost all of his long tail was gone. He looked up, pieces of his tail were stuck on the tips of all the tree branches. Remember, he started out with a really long tail. Do you remember at the beginning? Let's go back to that picture at the beginning. Here he is with a really long tail. That's how rabbits started out. And then while he fell down the branches, a piece of his tail was left on every single branch. And now he has a tiny little round tail. Hmm. Ever since then, at the time of year when the snow goes away, you can see those little furry pieces of rabbit's tails stuck on certain trees. Some call them pussy willows, but those who know what rabbits snow dance, they know that what they really are. To this day, rabbit has a short tail, and even though he still loves the snow, rabbit has learned to be more patient. He no longer sings his snow song in the summertime. However, during the colder months, if you keep an eye or an, an open ear towards the forest, you may just hear a small voice singing this song. Yo, thump, thump. Yo, thump, thump. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, yo, yo. So he doesn't sing that song in the summertime anymore, but he might still be singing it in the winter for the snow to fall. And he's more patient to wait for the snow to fall in the winter. When you hear that, you'd better head for home because soon it will begin to snow. So if you ever hear that chant in the woods, you know there's an animal trying to get it to snow. Here's the end of the back page. And it says, a hip and oh so funny take on a traditional Native American fable about the importance of patience, the seasons, and listening to your friends. And look, there's a little frog with snow on his head. So my question to you today is, would you like it to snow in the summer? Would you do a snow dance so that it would snow in the summertime? Tell me, what do you think? Would you like to do a snow dance in the summer and see if it would snow? Or maybe you like summertime and you say, no, I don't want snow in the summer. It's supposed to be warm and sunny and no snow. That's only for wintertime. Tell me what you think. I'd like to know your opinion. I hope you have a great day, guys. Thanks for reading with me today. Bye-bye.